It has been five years since the disappearance of a 26-year-old mother from Dallas. Despite detectives having all sorts of evidence and information about Prisma Reyes, there has still been no sign of her since she disappeared in 2019. Her family says before she went missing, she had a very bad day. A workplace dispute, an extended lunch, an hour of drinking, and then a violent altercation on the roads. Reyes was also seen acting distraught and sobbing at an ex-boyfriend's apartment complex. And then she vanished. She left clues. Baffling to me. A video trail. There's no way somebody did not see her. She even left a little boy. She was happy to be a mom and she was excited. It was Prisma Reyes's only child, Dominic, who set a frantic search in motion. April 17th, 2019, the six-year-old's babysitter alerting police in Mesquite, Texas. Prisma was late picking up her son. This was a little out of the ordinary for Prisma. Sergeant Dustin Barrett and his team on the case quickly as that babysitter's call came just two hours after Prisma was overdue. We were talking about the case. We were then notified that Dallas Police Department had located Prisma's Jeep. I believe in my heart she's still with us. I gotta have that faith. Dan Fuchs is Prisma's stepfather and the only father she ever knew. He's candid about the day his daughter disappeared. It began with an argument at this used car lot in Dallas where Prisma was a new employee. The altercation that morning was apparently, as one lady felt, that the parking spot closed to the building was hers. Lunch brought her to E-Bar Tex-Mex restaurant, where she met up with an ex-boyfriend. The pair leaves, but Detective Barrett says Prisma returned alone to drink. Just talking with different patrons of the bar, she has a bit of a disturbance there. I believe they cut her off from drinking. She got a little upset, spilled a drink, and then leaves. Cameras catch Reyes driving her white Jeep, rolling over a curb during a turn. News Nation obtaining documents from what happens next, a road rage incident. At 5.05 p.m., three women call 911 reporting a suspect wearing a red polo in a white Jeep Cherokee, pulled out a black handgun, cycled the slide, and pointed it at their car. At that same street, cameras captured Prisma parking, blocking an alley at the ex-boyfriend's apartment complex. She runs in through the car gate, and appears unsteady, waiting for the elevator. She seems a little bit intoxicated. She's stumbling around. She has the look of somebody that has had a few drinks and doesn't have all of her mental faculties about her. This is the last shot of Prisma after she moves to a higher floor and is spotted crying. It, it's real grainy and real fuzzy, but the clothing and everything seems to match what she was wearing, so we believe that's the last video that we have of her. Prisma is never seen leaving the building. All eyes immediately on that ex-boyfriend, one Prisma years ago dropped domestic violence charges against. He wasn't there. We have him on video leaving um, several minutes before she arrives. We know where he was, where he went. We have him on video at several locations. On her demeanor and everything else and how she was, she wasn't intoxicated, it's like, more like she was drugged. Prisma did not take her gun on her run into the building. She left it visible in the front seat in her illegally parked Jeep. That car belonging to a man who police say she was quasi involved with. Detective Barrett confirming there's no evidence to suggest he was involved. It, it kind of kills me inside because I don't know if he copes with it to where he doesn't ask for his mom and he just keeps it to himself. Dominic's father and Prisma split before the boy's birth. Arturo Garza says he was out of state during the disappearance and alibi police say is supported by current evidence. Garza just wants to support his son. I don't try to talk about it much because I let him cope it in his way and I, I think that's the best thing to do. Let him express his emotions whenever he's ready. Dan Fuchs will never stop working to find the little girl he so proudly raised for himself and a growing boy who deserves answers. For me to know what happened to her, but mostly for him. You know, so that way, you know, I could, you know, if, it's, if I'm on my deathbed, I could say, well, hey, Dominic, you know, I've done everything I can do. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.